Okay, this video is about a HEMA indoor practice sword called Mobile Blade. A friend of mine complained that she had no space at home for solo training with the longsword. This bugged me quite a while, when I eventually remembered a video by Thomas on his channel Medieval Review back in 2015. The M blade was just the solution I was looking for. Checking the video again, I noticed that there is a Thingiverse link attached to print your own mobile blade. Fantastic! All I'd need after printing are some screws, a rod, some RDA spare parts and time. Some of that stuff I had laying around. The rest could be bought for way cheaper than the commercial Sting variant. The 3D models looked promising, but needed a small overhaul. The printing software crashed with the provided object files. Wings 3D made short work of this and printing could begin. Producing the wake plates was the hardest part for me. I am no metal worker, and preparing some decent wake plates took quite some time. The assembly of all parts took just 10 minutes, however. And this is it. The final result feels and handles simply great. Indoor training without killing off the lambs or the cat by accident. Just what I was looking for. Keep watching to see the assembly of this mobile blade. Okay, let's try to assemble the mobile blade. These are the parts. They became printed pretty decent. Um, some small issues like this very thin part, but I think we can fix this with a lot of glue. Um, yeah, I got a guard in plastic for testing, and I got a guard in stainless steel, whatever this may mean. It's a lot heavier at least. Uh, the grip, rubber, and the pommel. Okay, I got several metal plates ready. The idea is I can change the weight uh, to my desire. Uh, metal workers, please don't look too closely. I'm I'm not a metal worker. I'm just. Uh, fiddling with the tools I have. And this was um, done with a, a saw, automated saw, and not very perfect in shape. <laughs> okay, let's glue the weight together some glue for this here and here all right that should do the trick oops okay and now for the metal plates Should fit just nicely. There you go. Okay, washers. for the screws depending on the weight I'm going to add I have some smaller ones these are the medium ones I don't remember the sizes I'll make sure I add them to the description uh, for comparison short and large and the medium Use. Okay. I'm not going to use tools to tighten these and to not damage anything by accident. 
just work with the feeling of the fingers and the hand. Okay, this should be enough. Turned out quite nicely. And here is the rod. First part of the place. Okay. Next I'm going to do the grip. Let's make sure to use a lot. It's a very very small part. just to keep some pressure on it. Okay. Mm, this is in general idea with the plastic one, with the plastic guard. I'm trying to focus to the camera there. Fits quite nicely. And I'll go with the metal guard. basically only one chance to make this fit because there is no way I can remove this again it's just too tight and I don't see how I can get this out again can do this later anytime and some glue and 
and it's pommel time. is it. Everything assembled and neat in place. 